The ASA rule states that two triangles are proven congruent if two sets of angles are equal and the included sides are also equal. But what does included mean? Included means that the side is included between the two known angles. In the triangle on the left, the 11 centimeter side is included between the 55 degree and 53 degree angles, but in the triangle on the right, the 11 centimeter side is not included. In this example, are triangle JKL and triangle MNP congruent? Question 1 says, are the known angles equal? Both triangles have a 37 degree angle and both triangles have a 108 degree angle. So yes, the known angles are equal. Question 2 says, are the known sides equal? Both triangles have a 62 unit side. Yes, the known sides are equal. Question 3 says, are the known sides included between the known angles? In both cases, yes. The 62 unit side is located between the 37 degree and 108 degree angles. Therefore, yes, we can conclude that these two triangles are congruent by the ASA rule. In this example, are triangle BCD and triangle TUV congruent? Question 1 says, are the known angles equal? Both triangles have a 51 degree angle and both triangles have a 68 degree angle. So yes, the known angles are equal. Question 2 says, are the known sides equal? Both triangles have a side that is 10 units long. So yes, the known sides are equal. Question 3 says, are the known sides included between the known angles? No. In the upper triangle, the 10 unit side is included between the 51 degree and 68 degree angles. But in the lower triangle, the 10 unit side is not included between the 68 degree and 51 degree angles. Therefore, no, we cannot conclude that these two triangles are congruent by the ASA rule. In this example, are triangle LMN and triangle PQR congruent? Question 1 says, are the known angles equal? No, both triangles have a 52 degree angle, but where one has a 61 degree angle, the other has a 62 degree angle. The known angles are not equal. Question 2 says, are the known sides equal? Yes, both triangles have a 19 unit side. Question 3 says, are the known sides included between the known angles? Yes, in both cases, the 19 unit side is included between the two known angles. But because the known angles are not equal, no, we cannot conclude that these two triangles are congruent by the ASA rule. In this example, are triangle EFG and triangle RST congruent? Question 1 says, are the known angles equal? Yes, both triangles have a 33 degree angle and both triangles have a 90 degree angle. So the known angles are equal. Question 2 says, are the known sides equal? No, one triangle has a 36 unit side and the other one has a 39 unit side. The known sides are not equal. Question 3 says, are the known sides included between the known angles? Yes, in both cases, the known side is included between the 90 degree and 33 degree angles. But because the known sides are not equal, no, we cannot conclude that these two triangles are congruent by the ASA rule. The ASA rule states that two triangles are proven similar if two sets of angles are equal and the included sides are proportional. However, this rule is not necessary to prove similarity. If two sets of angles are equal, we can prove the similarity with the AA rule, and the two sets of equal angles will force the included sides to be proportional. Also, since we only know the measure of one side in each triangle, we do not have enough information to build a proportion. Building a proportion requires four measures. Therefore, whenever we are faced with this situation, we can use the AA rule instead to prove or disprove similarity.